everybody, my name is Lavanya Mahate and I'm the owner of Saffron Valley Restaurants. Today I'm going to show you how to make chicken biryani. Biryani is a rice dish that's made with basmati rice, any kind of meat like chicken, lamb, goat meat or vegetables and spices and they're all cooked together. A couple of things we're going to do before we actually start cooking the dish. Firstly, I'm going to marinate the chicken. So here's about two pounds of chicken. And I'm going to marinate this with ginger garlic paste. Ginger garlic paste is a paste that's made with equal amounts of ginger and garlic uh, blended in a blender with some water to get it going. Um, and it's just that. You can also buy this in a, in a can or in a bottle at the Indian grocery store. So I'm using about two tablespoons of the ginger garlic paste. One teaspoon of turmeric powder very essential in Indian cooking. I'm going to use two teaspoons of red chili powder and going to use two teaspoons of salt and half a cup of yogurt. This is plain yogurt, plain Greek yogurt works well non-fat also works well but this is just plain yogurt i'm also going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice so i've gotten all my ingredients for the marination and i'm just going to mix the chicken pieces into the marinade and let it sit in the fridge for at least one hour two is even better so you want all the spices to get into the chicken and make it flavorful while it cooks so this is the first step to the biryani you want to marinate your chicken the next step is the rice I've taken four cups of rice uh, which is about two pounds of rice as well two pounds of chicken to two pounds of rice I've washed the rice and drained it so there's still some water in the rice but it's not soaking in the water so that just gives the rice some time to soak in the water and uh, and cook up and fluff up nicely when we cook the biryani so we want to make sure that we marinate the chicken and wash and drain the rice and next we're going to uh, start cooking this dish the chicken is marinating and the rice is washed and drained I've taken this pan bring it to a nice medium temperature I'm going to start with three tablespoons of oil vegetable oil olive oil any oil that you prefer cooking with is great so i put three tablespoons of oil and three tablespoons of butter this might seem like a lot of fat to cook with but we are cooking four cups of rice and two pounds of chicken so this is going to feed about eight to ten people so it's not a lot of oil okay now when the oil is heated and the butter is melting I'm going to use some whole spices so what I have here is bay leaves three bay leaves I have star anise cinnamon cardamom and cloves so these are the whole spices that I'm going to toast slightly in the oil and butter mixture you don't want them to burn so just about a minute is great then I'm going to use two cups of sliced onions these are um, yellow onions you could also use red onions they're a little bit spicier than the yellow onions but two cups of onions and we're going to saute the onions till they are translucent and not completely brown but just getting there this is going to take about eight to ten minutes so I'll keep frying the onions in the oil and the whole spice mixture the onions are nice and brown they've been frying for about eight to ten minutes they've actually turned nice and golden color next I'm going to add three slit green peppers or green chilies these are 
serrano peppers you could use bird's eye chili or jalapeno as well just uh, depending on the spice level and you could totally omit it too if you don't want it very spicy but we are using three slit serrano peppers here just for extra heat and while that is toasting i'm next going to add uh, tomatoes two cups of sliced tomatoes so now this is going to fry for another eight to ten minutes until it forms a nice pulp you want to give every step of the process its time and the onions to cook out and then the tomatoes it is that when all the flavors develop for the biryani so it is a slow cooking process it does take about for anywhere from 40 minutes to one hour uh, for the biryani sometimes even longer so plan on that if you're planning to make biryani it's going to take about an hour to make the dish so I'm going to look, just let the tomatoes fry and form a pulp then I'm going to add all the spices the chicken the rice and it will be on its way to be ready The tomatoes have fried well and they formed a nice pulp. Next, I'm going to add our biryani masala, which is a blend of many different spices and actually gives the dish tons of aroma and flavor. I'm going to add three teaspoons or one tablespoon of the biryani masala. Next, I'm going to add three fourths cup of mint leaves chopped mint leaves and three-fourths cup of chopped cilantro leaves it's smelling so good from all the fresh herbs the cilantro and the mint particularly smell heavenly along with the spices next i'm going to add our marinated chicken right into the onion and the tomato mixture and we're going to fry this for another five to eight minutes till the chicken has slightly browned. It's looking so good. Smelling even better. Next, I'm going to add the rice, the washed and drained rice, right into the chicken mixture. Going to add the water that this needs. Two cups. Give it a nice mix. Since we did not season um, the the rice, I'm going to add some salt, a teaspoon of salt. I also have some fried onions which are optional so these are onions that have been sliced and deep fried in hot oil to make them crispy like this I add these into this biryani which gives it a lot more flavor but it's optional I'm gonna let this come to a nice boil and then close the lid and let it cook for 20 minutes on a simmer So the mixture has come to a nice boil. I'm going to give it a gentle stir and close the lid and simmer it for 20 minutes. Our chicken biryani is ready. I'm just going to garnish it with some fried onions and some mint. and a squeeze of lemon serve it with a dollop of raita that we made and it's ready to serve I'm gonna give it a quick taste it smells so good mm. so good so good you'll love this thanks so much for watching i hope you've been Try this recipe at home and let us know how you liked it. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.